week on NBA 2K TV. We have a winner. Find out who you voted to take the grand prize in our Shoe Creator Challenge. Robbie joins us for some My Team strategy tips. Mike Wang has expert tips to up your defense. We check in on your My Player Nation standings and your top plays. It's all happening now. Welcome to NBA 2K TV. The results are in. And after a few weeks of voting, you guys, the 2K community, have decided which one of your peer shoe designs you wanted to see in NBA 2K20. First up, let's take a look at the category winners that were up for most popular vote. The win for best use of color went to Eptic Rev's Kobe 10 Elite. For most likely to be worn by an NBA player, you guys like the J-Man's Kyrie's best. In the next category, the shoe had to be original, no colorways. For most original, your votes gave Vito Society's Mamba Venom the win. And finally, for best throwback, you guys chose a future take on an old classic with Gamer Keezy's Galaxy Blast. So which of these did you vote most popular? Which design did you decide deserves to be made and put into the game? And the grand prize goes to... Congratulations, Congratulations. Gamer Keezy. Look out for this shoe to be featured in game very soon. Thank you to everyone who submitted and voted. It's the 2KMC, and I'm here to let you know what's going down in NBA 2K20. In the neighborhood, we've got plenty of 2K Compete events for you to earn and rep up. Starting on Saturday with Court Conqueror. Siege the castle, defeat the NBA legends, and win a prize. Hit pay dirt on Sunday with Gold Rush. All the VC you win will be used as your event score and the winner gets that gold drip. Tuesday, get in the cages, bounce around, and earn that double rep all day long. Thursday, it's time for treasure hunters. Find the map, complete the list, and earn your treasure. Right now in my team. In triple threat, get a second chance at prior reward cards, and the mystery packs return. Earn one for every win you get this weekend. And we've got locker codes. Make sure to use them before they expire. And as always, congratulations to the new legends showing up throughout the episode. I'll be back later with some top plays, and I'm bringing the heat. All right, welcome my team producer, Robbie, to the show. Now, Robbie, you posed a great challenge to me. I call it my dream my team, and you asked me to put together the best lineup in NBA 2K20 with all the available cards, but I had to limit it to three Lakers because you're, you're kind of being a hater. <laughs> Listen, man, I, I expect to see a bunch of Spurs players in this lineup. If there aren't, then I'm going to be disappointed. But yeah, everybody knows Chris is a huge Lakers fan, so... We had, to, we had to give him a few restrictions in order to make this a well-balanced team. So I'm interested to see what you got, man. Let's see it. All right, starting at point guard, I have Galaxy Opal LeBron James, a out of position set. Tell me there's not a better point guard in the game right now than that Opal LeBron. I would be misleading the great viewers of 2KTV if we did not say, yes, that is most likely the best card in the game. He strikes fear into the hearts of anybody that comes into an online game. All right, next, I got a special one and I'm holding it up. It's GOAT Michael Jordan. And you know what? This card has 99 on every single attribute, 65 Hall of Fame badges, and this MJ is perfect. Of course, everybody's gonna love a card with 99 overall, but when it comes down to it, I'm not gonna lie, I thought you were gonna say GOAT Kobe, so I'm can't color me surprised right there. Next up, you're right on cue. My man, the GOAT card, Kobe Bryant. Now all the players that have been obtaining him, Robbie, they've been grinding away for that card. Explain to the people how much effort you have to put in to get this card because you can earn him by grinding. 
Absolutely. So uh, 300 challenges. You got to do the spotlight sim offline challenges. You got to do the historic spotlight sim offline challenges. By the way, that's one Laker player so far. I'm keeping track. And to continue my lineup at Power Forward, it's a former cover athlete, Giannis Antetokounmpo. And you know what? This card is unstoppable. Giannis's Galaxy Opal Takeover card, amazing. Uh, the big thing on that one that his prior versions didn't have a ton of is three-point shooting. He has an open shot three of an 87. He is going to be brutal to play against and try to defend. At the five position, I have a glitch card from the Flash set. That's Shaquille O'Neal. He's already unstoppable inside, but now he's crossing people over and taking three-pointers. This is a fantasy mode before you get upset. I'm putting that glitch Shaq at the five. The thing about these out of position or glitched cards is like you said, we are living in a in a a fantasy land for lack of better terms. Everybody knows Shaq didn't shoot many threes in his career. He did bank one in as a member of the Magic. But when it comes right down to it, let's have some fun. You picked him because why? He's fun, he's a good card. It's really that simple when it comes down to it for your starting lineup. But eventually those guys are gonna get that little G icon next to him. So kinda wanna see what that bench is looking like cause you can't run that five all game. All right, my first player off the bench is that Prime Series 3 Lamar Odom, master of all trades. He's fast, it's a Clipper card mind you, so it doesn't count as a Laker. My next card is Galaxy Opal Clay Thompson from the Flash 7 set. Clay is one of those cards that if you take some time, even five minutes in freestyle, it can make all the more difference when you get on the court with him. My man, Magic Johnson from the Campus Legend set. I really think that card is still in the top tier of point guards and in players, period. Anthony Davis, the final collector levels reward. What a card, you put in the time, you get the man. Davis is one of the most versatile rim protectors, but he can also come out and lock down on the perimeter. Well, continuing that defense, it's my man, Pal Gasol, the Evo card version of him, which starts out as a pink diamond. And of course you can evolve into an opal. Yeah, he was one that I ended up using for a while and I actually did evolve him uh, from pink diamond to galaxy opal. And that's a big, big jump. My next card is one that I feel is really underrated, even though it's a great card, and that is the Glenn Rice card. That that card is a step up. Glenn Rice, people are gonna learn about him if they don't know. Next up, you're gonna be really proud of me. This David Robinson token reward card is nasty. And it's one that I had to add in the lineup because like you said, defense is important, especially in my team, and there's nothing I love seeing more than cards that make people rage quit. My last card is perhaps the best my team card in the game. The Magnificent Galaxy Opal, Alex Caruso. And I know you said three <laughs> Lakers, but he's going in the lineup, interchangeable. He's the best player in the game. Prove me wrong. There's some truth that he is a very good player uh, when it comes to that Opal tier in the point guard. This is a guy that even for the real life Lakers, he had value, and people may joke about that kind of stuff, but man, that is a good two-way player. Anybody that you can put in that lineup to potentially make this lineup any better than I just laid out, based on the meta of 2K20. Yeah, I mean, you'd want me on the sticks instead of you, I mean, other than that. Yeah, <laughs> no, uh, all seriousness, there's great lineups out there, but the human component is still a thing. I can say that I have beaten teams that are better than my team, based on my strategy, based on my coaches, based on shoes. It's the little things sometimes that make a difference and could put you over the top. With that, Robbie, I have one more question. Since I presented the best dream my team that I could come up with, can you throw me all these cards and have me go into my team with them? Absolutely not. It was worth a try, I suppose. Well, that's Robbie, AKA my team producer, AKA not welcome as my friend anymore. Thank you for coming on the show, Mr. Producer. Thank you. Well, as we know, the NBA is halted, but in 2K, the games go on in My Player Nation, and you guys have represented your teams so well. Here's a look at how the season is wrapping up. The My Player Nation finals are here. It's come down to the top two teams in each conference, 
as the Lakers and Bucks square off in the NBA Finals. With tens of millions of games played, we're down to the final matchup and they're going to need the help of your my player. So who will take home the championship? That's for you to decide. Well, Chris, I don't know who would have guessed Lakers versus Bucks. I mean, it's LeBron James, it's Anthony Davis, it's your my player. And if you're not running in the West, you're throwing that lob up to Giannis onto the Kumpo on the East. This is going to be one heck of a final series. Yeah, and we want to see you in action. Send us your highlights on social media using the hashtag MyPlayerNation. Hey guys, I'm Mike Wang, here with Expert Tips. Everybody knows the feeling of going against a player that just won't miss. So today, I'm going to show you some defensive settings you can adjust to help you get some stops. If you're in the game, you can press right on the D-pad when you're on defense, and hit the right trigger until you get to the box that has a button assigned to each opposing player. From there, select the button for the opposing player you are trying to contain, and you'll have an extensive list of defensive options to choose from. If someone is pounding it in the paint all game, try the nothing inside option. But if they're sinking three-pointer after three-pointer, it might be better to try the run offline option. If you don't want to make adjustments during the game, just hit the pause button and go to defensive settings. By clicking the right bumper, you can go through each of your opponent's players and tailor your adjustments for each one. If you don't want them to have any breathing room when they catch the ball, try changing your on-ball pressure to smother. If your opponent is doing so good that you'd rather them not even touch the ball, you can try the deny ball adjustment on off-ball pressure. One defender not getting it done? Try sending a double team. Depending on how your opponent is getting their buckets, you can choose a variety of options as to how you want to double them, whether it's in the post, on the perimeter, or both. Defense isn't easy, but hopefully you're now more prepared to stop a lights out performance in the future. And I'll see you next time for more expert tips. Yo, 2KMC here, and I hope you're ready, because it's top place time. You submitted your best ankle breakers, but I want to know which one is really the best. Let's start things off with Da Vinci Ur. First, breaks the defender's ankles with a lethal spin and crossover, then lets it rip from downtown and seals the deal. What a finish. Next, we have Fully Strap. Breaks ankles once, breaks ankles twice, and then breaks out the no-look elbow pass for a sweet assist. Whenever someone's balling in a suit, you just know they mean business. <laughs> Next up is V Country Forever. Forces the defender to completely lose balance and then unleashes the filthy 360 slam. What a sequence. Last but not least, let's check out Hub 2111. Drops the defender with a nasty ankle break and the D never gets up. So shout out to Hub for taking advantage and sinking the game winner. Now, vote for your favorite ankle breaker. And if you want your highlights to be featured in an episode, then submit them to social media using the hashtag 2KTVWOW. This is the 2KMC, and I'll see you next week for another installment of Top Plays. Summer is almost here, and you know what that means. The annual 2KTV Awards are coming soon. That's right, it's my favorite time of year because it's time to recognize you, the NBA 2K community, for doing all the amazing things that you all do in NBA 2K. Here are this year's categories, so get out there and play because we are watching, and keep checking back here for more award show details. 
That's it for this week. We'll see you next week on NBA 2K TV. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.